Hi, it's Aurelius. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, you're going to learn how to protect your PDF eBooks from theft and online sharing. So we're going to put a few measures in place so that it will at least deter, you know, thieves from sharing your eBooks and those hard earned hours that you've put in to your digital products, specifically, of course, your PDF eBooks. So let me show you now. First of all, before we get started, I want you to know that there's no 100% guaranteed way to protect your eBooks from being shared online because at the end of the day, it is a digital product and there's no way of real time checking and tracking of your eBooks to see where it's being shared. But you know, in saying that, if that's your major concern, if that's what's stopping you from creating and selling your eBooks, then don't let it be because you know, you're gonna need hundreds if not thousands of sales to get you know, one or two thieves and those who are dishonest. Most of the customers that you will attract are quite honest and I've been doing this for over 10 years. So don't let it be something that's stopping you and don't let it be something that makes you keep procrastinating on the idea of selling eBooks. With that being said, let me show you the first protection measure. Okay, the first thing that you can do is a thing called PDF stamping. And as the name suggests, you're stamping your PDFs and you don't actually have to do this. The shopping cart system that I'll share with you right now will do this for you. So before I get to that, actually, I'll show you an example of an ebook of mine uh, with the PDF stamp on it as a little demo. Okay, so I've got this ebook called Overcome Obstacles. And what you'll see in the top left corner there, it's quite small, but you'll see this, it's got the customer email, which is mine as I did a test. In addition to that, you've got the date as well of when the customer purchased the ebook. So that's the PDF stamping that this tool will allow you to do. And you don't need to do this. The tool will automatically stamp it after a customer purchases uh, your ebook. And it is rather small and I might bring this to the attention of the shopping cart system, uh, the owner, and to see if they, they can make some adjustments to it or even allow us as users to be able to define the sizing of it and what we wanna put on the PDF stamping. But for now, this is you know the bare minimum that you can do. So PDF stamping, and let me show you the exact platform to use. So it's called Payhip. I've mentioned this in a number of past videos on the differences, you know, between something like Gumroad, if you might have heard, or, you know, Payhip, and there's also Lemon Squeezy. Gumroad, from what I've researched, doesn't have this PDF stamping technology, but Payhip does, which is why I'm suggesting this as a platform to use. And if you haven't watched any of my Payhip videos, feel free to search up Aurelius Tijin and Payhip and into YouTube search and you'll find a number of tutorials. Now, once you sign up for an account, it is free to sign up and you do get charged on a kind of per transaction uh, basis, but all you need to do is head to products and then click on add new product. Okay, so you add your product as you normally would and you select digital products. Okay, fill in all the details with your details. I'll open up one of my existing ones. So I'll just open up the overcome obstacles one, upload your PDF as you normally would, save it. And the next thing is to go to your account, go to settings, then right here where you see advanced settings, you'll see protect your PDF files. Make sure you check stamp the buyer's email on the top left of each page of your PDF for files. Uh, so this will be for files uh, below 250 megabytes. And once that's enabled, the next time a customer purchases your ebook, it will automatically stamp it with their email and date of purchase. How does this stop thieves from sharing? Well, it doesn't exactly stop them, but it will deter them at least. It might turn them off because it does have the customer email and the date of purchase. And if the thief wanted to resell it, let's say, you know, with no rights to, they don't have the license to, then their customers will see that they're not the actual owners of the ebook, the PDF ebook. In fact, it will be the owner who purchased it and they will see that this, yes, in fact, uh, is an illegal copy. So that right there is PDF stamping. That's the first measure that you can put in place. The second is actually still in within uh, Payhip and right here under advanced settings is the download limit. Now, most platforms and shopping cart systems do have this feature where you can limit the number of downloads, but this is just an extra measure that you can put 
So the number of downloads, so let's say we only want to limit to three attempts to download the PDF ebook. Uh, with Payhip, you can always reset this anyway. You can find the help doc of Payhip to, uh, to see how to actually reset it for the customers. But this is the maximum number of download attempts for each file. So if you place three, then the customer can only download it three times. So if the customer decides, let's share this download link uh, to a friend or a family member or someone so that they don't need to pay for your product, then they'll land on the download page and then you'll see a maximum limit. So if they've already reached the limit of three, uh, no one else can download that. But if they've already downloaded the PDF version, you know, you can't really track that. They could very well just share that PDF document and there it goes. Which is why at the beginning of this video, I said there's no 100% guaranteed way of protecting your PDF eBooks. Now the third measure is something really simple and that is to simply password protect your PDF eBooks or any PDF in general if you are creating one. So the tool that you can use is smallpdf.com. You'll find it. Uh, it's under tools and you'll see protect PDF. You'll land here. You, all you need to do is simply drag and drop the PDF ebook right here and it will upload and this will then give you access to uh, the fields to enter a password. As you can see right here, you type a password. So enter a password and click on protect. Once that's done, you can click on download so you can download the password protected PDF version. And then when your customer opens your password protected ebook, they'll see this prompt where they have to enter a password Otherwise, they cannot read and go through your ebook. So if I enter my password right here, there we go. It's opened. Anyone that does attempt to share it uh, will need to know the password. So those will be the three main things I would do to protect my PDF ebooks. There are more advanced ways to protect your ebooks. There are things that can actually track who and which IP downloaded uh, your ebooks, but I'll leave a link to that other video I recorded a while ago in the description box below if you wanna learn further. Now, if you do want more advanced settings in terms of PDF stamping, I did some research and a platform called SendOw does allow you to do this. It is similar to Payhip where you can start selling your digital products on. However, there is a monthly fee that they do charge uh, to host your products there. But you can see in the help files, uh, the amount of things that you can do, such as the text size of the PDF stamp, you know, text colors, uh, the layout, things like that, stamp text, and also using placeholders like the order received, transaction ID, you know, you're given more advanced options in terms of PDF stamping here. And you'll see here what buyers see, so prepared exclusively for the buyer, and here's a transaction. So you can see here, there's more, text that you can put. So yes, if you're looking for this PDF stamping technology, you have to use something like Payhip or Sendow. I'm sure there are others out there. Uh, one for WordPress, if you're hosting things such as uh, on Wo WooCommerce, but links to Sendow and Payhip will be in the description box below. So you can feel free to go and do your own research and see if one of the platforms works for you. Other than that, don't sweat about your PDF eBooks being shared online. As I said, I've been doing this for over 10 years now and the likelihood of someone actually stealing and sharing it with you know other people is quite slim. So main thing is to get your product out there. You know, you wanna start making sales, start monetizing your business. Hope this video helped and if it did, by all means, give this video a thumbs up and I'm looking forward to sharing the next training with you.